And now it's time for our revolutionary new experiment in radio. This is WBCN in Boston. I will tell you so rare. There wasn't any radio station at all that played any of this kind of music. I wanna tell you so, baby. It was clearly ours. Older people didn't like it, didn't understand it. But well, we were all hippies. We all had long hair. With 240,000 students in Boston, the best chance I had to pay the rent on this thing was uh, to play rock music. For the first time, there was an outlet for music like this on the radio. You'd hear some muddy, you'd hear some Grateful Dead. The Jefferson Airplane, the Steve Miller Band, Quicksilver Messenger Service, and Donovan. Jimi Hendrix. Hello, Bruce yeah. Springsteen. We're on the air? Yeah, we're on the air. Hey! <laughs> this is my very first time on radio, and I want to say hello to my mother who lives in California. Hi, Mom. You were not going to hear this music anywhere except at WBCN. He did not hire professional radio announcers. He hired kids. I was a uh, philosophy major with no career prospects. Boston was in the grips of counterculture, students trying to find new ways of living, new ways of being. This is Goofa Mama Tupa Hoppa Doopa, and you're listening to WBCN. FM 104.1 in Boston. The response from people was so great because we were sort of treating radio not as a performance, but as a relationship with our listeners. In the news right now, police in Boston got orders this morning to halt an anti-war demonstration about 30 Vietnam veterans. The Vietnam War hung over everything. Boston was a battleground of ideas. Henry Kissinger taught at Harvard. 250,000 college students, most of whom by then had turned against the war. Nixon was the personification of American evil. The FBI came to the house one morning. They came in, all of them had their guns drawn. It was an autumn of chaos, huge marches. The peaks are coming! The peaks are coming! The peaks are coming! We got out we formed a radio consciousness that was further and further and further more political and more dangerous. Women, just jockeys, not just in the news department. It was like transformative. Giving a voice for the first time to out open gay people on the radio. I don't know which disc jockey it was, but when they said, this is the American Revolution, you know, and you felt that they meant it. We were, trying to put us down. we were trying to create something that hadn't existed before. It was the internet of its day. Independence, having people make up their own minds as to what to play, what to say. Stuff like that on the radio, wow, amazing. We had the real thing. WBCN in Boston. Scoopy doopy doopy doop. Bow bow bow. Yeah bow. Ooh ooh ooh. Chicka boom.